way different. It was like a whole different kind of thing going on. Every time there was a pause, Purge would like all chat like you have two minutes and 55 seconds remaining in pause time. It was great. Oh, a bing. Crawling around here. We've got Radiant Vision of them. Do they actually go for this? Torrent going to be latching onto this Life Stealer. He's going to be raging off, but they've got the right clicks underneath the tower. Can they really dive this level one? Looks like 5593 is going to try. He's got himself a crush, and they know there's no magic immunity left in the Life Stealer. He's just playing Ring Around the Rosy, but Kanka is going to surround him. Everyone's gobbling their way through the trees, but they finally found the setup they need. Another Rage comes in. The Torrent's not going to hit. One more right click from Shadow Fiend. Is it enough? DJ gets the credit for that one. Nando seems to be aware of what's going on here. In fact, the Kunk is even pinging. He's saying, like, look, man, they're, they're totally going to be over here. Just do not get Astral. You're so dead. I sold him. Now moving forward. He's so, like, such a juicy target. Hook comes in. They've got some damage to follow up, but DJ's actually going to move forward, gets the disrupt onto the OD. There's going to be the torrent to follow up. It's actually the OD that hits the deck, and Boombex is going to be in trouble as well. Goes in, trying to get that save Frostbite, but instead going to be axed back to her death. She's just sitting there oh, that was so taking close. it. Pudge tried for the hook down to the low ground, but it wasn't there in time, unfortunately. Timber might have to try and find themselves a uh, softer target. And uh, going to work on this mid tower. I mean, you've got Armel who's sitting back. He's going to be third on the net worth chart. Oh, the hook in. Nando in some trouble here. Doesn't have his Dragon Lance yet. He's just going to be sitting back. Fly solo. He's his whole catcher, but. All right. All right. Man, he took a lot of damage there. Crisis of Oh, 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 oh destruction. Oh, he gets the raise on the pudge. There is going to be a return kill. Oh, that baby, was actually sick. Rolling. That was a sick disruption. <laughs> Massive pudge baits, I guess, is the other play, right? You just walk in, be like, oh, I'm just a pudge. <laughs> I'm just a little pudge. No flesh <laughs> heaps. Don't hit me. All right. This might actually work. It's going to work. Oh, they're so bunched. Oh, it's attempting. Go. Oh, they got the hook. They plop out the infest, and they're able to get it. It's a commander overwhelming odds. They get a kill on Gabby as well. They get the root onto the Shadow Demon. It's going to go for the self-disrupt, but this is going to be done. DJ is going down. It's a dual victory as well. Clutch finally getting off the ground there. They find three kills. Very important ones at that on them looking to get something moving right now but i mean i'm thoroughly surprised that clutch have managed to bring this back it looked like the early kings from execration were getting them off to such a great lead but here we go fly solo maybe thinking about the hooks goes in finds the timber saw they're gonna go straight into a duel it's ambitious but with crystal maiden ult they're able to find the victory <laughs> Again, nice teamwork all around. TP's come in from the rest of execration. They don't want to let this tower go without much of a fight. Four staff away from Nando. Just going to be getting himself behind this tower. Infest comes out from our life stealer. He's <laughs> doing it again here. They're going to try. Oh, oh. Glimpse back. They may have to sacrifice this legion. Oh, not again. again. Look. Oh, right out of the TP. Oh, gosh. It's under the timber saw again. Gabby. He's going to be so triggered. They may lose their legion commander for this. She's oh, still rapid. alive. She's moving forward. They get a great sanity's eclipse. They don't find any more kills there, but at least they're showing execration who's boss. Now missing so much of his regen, but... So have to keep on waiting. Uh, it looks like Nando still hasn't committed to any parts of the BKB. Oh. X onto the Pudge. Oh, yeah. They know where he's at. He's going to be torrented back in. Do they punish this? This Legion Commander keeping him healed up. Gabby's going forward. The boat. Let's clip onto a couple heroes. Ah, bang now. Unfortunately. Has to back Rappy off a little bit. did go for the blink. He uh, didn't finish out the blade mail. So we do have initiation now. So and still they just go for an infest, but again, that ward is actually doing so much work up there. Oh, link forward here. The Slardar looking to be punished. It's going to be a defensive astral on the Crystal Maiden. Meanwhile, Pudge goes to work on the back line. It's able to pick off DJ. This is an absolute disaster. Gabby, the only survivor, can Timberchine out, but wants to go for a kill. We'll get some revenge onto that Legion commander. Defensive hooks if necessary. The Clutch are going to be trying to figure out, do you re-engage? Do you back off? Because now shrines are exposed. Clutch can just go wrap around and clean those up. Got to take full control of the Radiant Turf. And now there is going to be a crush from 5 5 and 3, but Ah Bing just going to be raging on through it. Torrent connects. There is going to be a boat coming forward, but Force Staff out. OD going to astral himself so he won't be brought back. Well, in. that infest. Infest onto Boombex. Oh, do they have the mobility to get him out though? Boombex is going to be going down. Unfortunate. Both heroes end up hitting the dust, and that's just a. OD burning an Aegis. Fly solo getting low as well. This is. This is Clutch way overstaying their welcome. Armel, he's going in aggressively, dumps out the Sanities. We'll find a kill on that Shadow Fiend. 
goes in for that defensive astral once again. I don't think he lives out of this one, though, and uh, no, he's going down. So full wipe, execration, punish clutch so hard for getting greedy there. Clever workshop name. There's the smoke. DJ gonna get popped. This is exactly like last time. <laughs> Precise same scenario. They put the ward down. Oh, what? Eh. Come on, man. You had your warning. Going in. Mass TP's coming forward, and there we go. It's gonna be a boat rocking forward, and Legion Commander's not able to finish her duel. It's gonna be a little bit of bloodshed coming the way to Clutch Gamers the Pudge. He finds himself when he brings Nando closer to himself, while the rest of Execration are able to go and finish off their targets. Fly solo. One of the only survivors, Armel, is gonna go ahead and get X back. The crush is gonna be off the mark as he goes for the self astral. 5593, still prepared. The Sanity Thumb Zone, they're able to find a little bit more blood, but it will cost Fly Solo his life. It's gonna be a big, big kill for Execration. They get another full wipe and they're able to go through, take out this tier two. They can and uh, the net worth just now crossing the boundary. Smoke into the Roche pit. Although Fly Solo, he's just strutting in. This guy ain't smoked. They're going in. They realize that's a Shadow Fiend illusion. Not gonna get too scared by it as Armel smoke doesn't break. And oh, here we go. Radiant, they find what they're looking for. Legion Commander just plucked off like a fresh apple. Gabby moving forward as well. Oh, Crystal Maiden's dead. There's a TP up from the OD just trying to cut their losses. But Execration have firmly asserted that they would like this Roshan. And he's hurting so bad. He's hitting for like 500 a pop right now with that double damage. Yeah, I am now, Scotty. Good choice. Fortify being spent out. Looks like Clutch are willing to fight for this one. Overwhelming odds from Legion Commander. They're going to be blinking up onto the high ground, though. Astral protecting the slaughter for now. Everyone able to get themselves back down to the low ground. Four Staff keeps that Shadow Fiend safe. Again, he's still got the Aegis, so not a whole lot to worry about. Oh, gosh, the Kanka. He plucked off. I thought that hook was going to miss, but there we go. Oh, the Sanity is coming in. They get the duel as well. Clutch, they just woke up. They're ready to fight, and they're gonna get Nando down as well. Nando's able to take out the OD before he falls, but this is Clutch looking to make it a wipe go in the other way. TP out attempt from Gabby. He will finish it off, but he's able to timber chain through, but go in and place in their vision. Pudge still sitting on that gem, easily able to deward, but it's all about when he's able to leave the base. Yeah, just constantly baiting out uh, Gabby. And this time they're gonna oh. bait him as if they're all behind him. There nice we crush. go, they get the crush onto two. They've got the damage coming in. OD's able to defend himself with that defensive astral. Fly Solo maybe seeing if he can hook him back, but unfortunately, Armel hits the deck. It's gonna be Fly Solo with that corrosive haze. They've got vision, they've got damage. He drops the gem, trying to at least uh, prevent any sort of regroup. Gem is gonna be picked up by the Shadow Demon, and it looks like this may be the momentum swing the Execration needed. Buyback on the Pudge. They've got buyback on the OD if they need. Meanwhile, the Legion Commander sitting there with the Life Stealer inside, ready to go in for that duel, but they've got to get someone picked apart from the crew. They're going to be going in, jumping onto Fly Solo here. They will find that kill. That's a DJ, but oh. Okay, they got the kill on the Shadow Fiend. That's huge. Even through the BKB, they've got enough damage to get the Atos off on the Timber Saw, but can't get up to the high ground to find him. Uh, Lincoln Sphere going to be the next item here. Fernando does not want to get dueled. Very understandable. Another good stat item too, just to help out with the general illusions and whatnot. But oh, here we go, Dire. They're taking their stab at the Rose John. There is going to be Nando with that Lotus Orb starting things off, and oh, nice crush, nice crush connects onto everyone. Gabby's able to rake in a kill. Opping is getting low. It might look like Epson fast out of this one. Sanity's Eclipse stumped down. They get the kill on the Slardar. Kunkka just respawns. He's trying to get himself back into the fight. Armel goes down. That's going to be no buyback on the OD Crystal Maiden or Legion Commander. Pudge looks like he's just trying to TP out. We'll be able to do so, but that have to deal with that. He's just gonna like, all right, I'm gonna get myself into a shitload of danger and then just be completely saved. And there's nothing you can do about it. The only thing they can do is try to go and just astral him to prevent that X from taking control. But all right, Lotus Orb, the astral. So everyone's just taking a break. Take a little five minute pause. Timber shading back on through. Everyone's just every which way they're gonna lose their kanka which means they lose the gem as well so far clutch are able to drive back execration maybe even looking for more they've got that legion with the blink and the infest that she go forward here is this just too dangerous 
Pletch don't want to sacrifice any lead they have to get that onto Gabby. He's got the Lotus Orb off, so dueling is dangerous. The BKB from the Slaughter as well. It's ambitious, but they find what they're looking for. They manage to split up Execration. They burn the Aegis as well. All of Clutch are still up. They're still fighting. The Shadow Fiend's going to BKB, but it's just going to be a burn charge. He goes down, and they're looking for more here. They can keep up. Can they find the Slardar? Can he be moving his way through the trees? Gabby as well, just moving out so quickly. But that's going to be three kills and an Aegis. Still a huge chunk of damage on the Timbersaw and Slardar alone. Yeah, they need to try and force his buyback, though. Time to get a little bit aggressive. <laughs> Pudge hooking that creep to try to make backdoor protection quicker. Yeah. Look at that. All right, backdoor protection is going to be down. And looks like Ah Bing just going to work on this tower. He has to deal with a potential source of damage. Gabby being right on top of him. Crush in. Oh, got him again. They are able to hook back to Kunkka. If they can find this kill, it's going to be huge. Kunkka just respawned. Meanwhile, there is going to be a dual victory lead commander able to pick off the Shadow Demon. That's going to be even less saves on the Radiant oh, side. Lumic. It's happening. Clutch Gaming are doing it. They lose their punch. Ah Bing so hot on the heels of the Kunkka. Lumic, one more hit from the Legion commander. Will spell his demise. Meanwhile, Hurricane Pike comes up from Amel. Legion does find the kill on the Kunkka. Looking for more here. Blade Mail rocking on that Timber Saw, but Boombex doesn't care. He's going in. He's ulting everyone, but the Smartar is dead. There are a few buybacks left on the side of Execration, but... Timbersaw doesn't want to spend it. It's such a low respawn anyway. Fortify comes out. And they're even thinking about doing something sneaky here. Oh, a haste room could help this out. Dire vision. They're going to see the Shadow Fiend. They'll have to go for the Ooh. best pop, open wounds, and then duel. They've got to do it. Or Crystal like Maiden. There she goes. She uses the Frostbite to bait it out. There is going to be that Disrupt to try to buy themselves some time, but they're just going to turn their attention on to the Slardar. Oh my goodness, this could be it. This is Clutch just going in, asserting dominance. They may lose Abing here, getting focused down by Gabby. In fact, the Hoggle? commander is able to save the Life Stealer. Oh my goodness. Everyone's still alive except for the OD. They're able to rake in the kill onto the Legion Commander. Hook in though. Oh, the Pudge. This could be bursting down Gabby. Abby's still alive temporarily. Comes out of that disrupt and they are able to get the kill. Ah, Bing, still up, still fighting. After Legion Commander saved him with her last breath. Gave her the, uh, gave him the press the attack instead of saving it for herself. People have it. Our two exceptions are Akanka and Shadow Demon. Too poor for it, so we'll see if uh, Clutch are going to be able to punish that. Because not having Akanka in this fight, having no boats, no X's. That's really sucky. Hook in! They get the Shadow Demon! Oh my goodness! They're able to find him! They jump down the sanity and picked up the Slaughter at full health! The boat goes forward, they get the duel onto the Kanka! Oh my goodness, this may just be GG! It's a triple kill for Armel! He scaled himself up, the Legion sitting on 166 duel damage as well! My god! Why Soul is a game Watch winner, Gaiman. honestly. They're so gaming. persistent! They're, they're too good, honestly. Like, Pudge is such a good hero right now, and especially when you're playing like this. Gabby, he's doing everything he can. The hook from the Pudge is going to fly through, won't find anything, but... Oh my, it's Mega Creeps now for Clutch Gaming. They've done it! They managed to bring this back from what looks like the Brink. Fly Solo going in, dismembering the Shadow Fiend to hold him in place. Ah, Bing! Going to be munching on him as well. The Crystal Maiden out flies through. Everyone on the Radiant starting to fizzle. Oh, it's a double kill for Armel as well. Shadow Fiend buys back, but it's only Shadow and Timber left to hold this absolute bloodbath and now Gabby moves in is able to find a kill onto the Legion she's got herself a buyback and now Gabby going down as well that's a triple kill for Armel buyback on the timber but it is short-lived it's gonna be GG pretty soon here unless Execration can fully wipe Dire I have not seen a turnaround this interesting in a long time Oh, going forward, Gabby. He makes his way towards the pit. Gabby, are you insane? Apparently so. To be able to timber chain himself back towards there. Armel getting low. Gonna be hit on by that shadow demon, but still alive. The shadow poison not gonna tick him down at all. They get the sun onto the timber. He's gonna die, and the GG comes out as there's no more buybacks. Clutch gaming. Holy crap. Yep, CG played very well this game. Shout out to Fly Solo for sure.